Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We live. We back. Welcome. Welcome back. If this your first time here, man, I'm your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. This is Golden Goose DFS, where we specialize in single entry, three max, and 20 max contests. So if that's your particular speed, you know, those type of contests you're in, this is the perfect spot for you. But even if it's not your style of contest, man, maybe you're a 150 max, a cash game player. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, I don't know your situation. But I know a good situation for you to be in. That's right here, man. Go on and hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bells on so you know when the videos drop. And you can be here rocking with me every time, all right? Do me one small favor since you're already here. Go on and hit that like button for your boy, man. It helps the channel grow. And it's greatly appreciated. And I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's talk about it. This is my third and gold series. Like I said, if you're new here. We specialize in single entry 3 max and 20 max. So with this series, I intend to provide three plays that more than likely will be in my player pool. I say more than likely because it's early in the week. Things happen. Guys get injured. Something may happen in practice. And in that case, if you saw them in this video, they get hurt or for whatever reason, they're, my, they're probably not going to be in my player pool. But more than likely, these are guys you're going to see in my playing pool. But if you want complete access to my, if you want complete access to my entire player pool to know exactly who I'm playing and my particular strategy given the slate, my Patreon link is down below. Come on over and officially join the gang. I right? will be glad to have you. Great growing community over here. Let's get to it. All right, let's talk about these plays. You know I don't like to hold you long. This week. It's going to be tough at QB, man. It's looking rough out here. Last week should have been a better situation, but it was a rough situation. And guys that didn't play in the fourth quarter, i.e. Tua, really hurt us. Uh, check out my lineup, review my Monday morning quarterback. If you haven't seen that yet, go check out that video. You can see what I'm talking about in that instance. But it's going to be tough to get a quarterbacks, man. I was struggling trying to uh, bring this video to you, just trying to, get to guys I like. I got two guys on the top end that I'm uh, heavy on, as you can see by the thumbnail. But outside of that, man, it's going to be slim pickings at QB. Let's get right into it. The first guy, thumbnail, give me Josh Allen, 8,200. Now, this stack, this piece is going to be a little pricey because you already know who I'm teaming him with, man. Him and Steph Diggs have just been on one accord this season. He's been lighting it up. They've been lighting it up together. Uh, one of the higher team totals on the slate is not a lot of high team totals. I'm telling you, it's not a lot of high game totals, not a lot of high implied team totals. I tend to look at the implied team totals more so than the entire game totals because I want pieces of those offenses that are expected to score a lot. And we're getting that right here with Josh Allen and Steph Diggs. Love pairing these two together. Uh, I'm probably going to skinny stack this, man, as I don't really like any of his other passing options. But if I were to double stack, like I said, I'm still trying to decide. You know, Gabe Davis in play, and maybe even some Dawson Knox. Hasn't really paid off for us. Should have had a better game last time, but Morris ended up getting the T TD. Go figure with no Kincaid out there. But I don't mind going here. Like I said, that'll get me out of that cheap tight end discussion. Sometimes it's good to have a quarterback that you can just lock in a tight end with so you ain't got to deal with it. Tight end has been an utter headache this season. And if you can pair one with your quarterback just to get yourself out of that discussion, I don't mind going that route. But still trying to decide. It's going to be Knox or Davis for me. I don't really want a run back here in this spot. Don't want to run back at all. I don't trust nothing over that Patriots team. Like, the Patriots, I mean, theoretically, the Patriots can put together a good defensive scheme and limit Buffalo here, but the, the Patriots, is that ship is just going down, man. It does not look good right now. I don't know what they can muster up. And Josh Allen, this Bills offense, is, is rolling right now, barring a little struggle this past weekend. I like Josh Allen right here, 8,200. Like pairing with Steph Diggs. Like I said, probably go skinny on this stack. No wheel run back here in this spot, all right? Next up is a guy I think that may go overlooked. Just because he's been <clears throat> middling, he's engaged some solid performances. This offense, it, it, it's starting to click. It's just having a little trouble in the red zone. The guy I'm talking about is Lamar Jackson. I'm going to stay up in this upper tier right here on this slate. Give me Lamar Jackson at 7,600. 
playing against the Detroit Lions here. Now, I know Detroit has been looking good. This defense has been looking solid. But they haven't really, outside of Patrick Mahomes, and we know that Chiefs offense uh, has not looked as polished and as good as it has in past seasons. Outside of that, man, this Lions defense has not played any dynamic quarterbacks. Just go look at it. I tell you to go check it out. <clears throat> the best quarterback they probably played outside of Patrick Mahomes was Geno Smith. And and the uh, um, Seahawks put up 30-plus points on this Lions team. So, I like Lamar Jackson here in this spot, man. This team is starting to click. They have a solid team total, uh, 22 points over here. And the offense, the run, the running game is just not there. Everything is just running through Lamar. They're projected, like I said, for 22 points here in this spot. And they're a three-point favorite at home against the Lions. If that's the case, if that's how Vegas see it, there's no way they don't get there without Lamar Jackson. He's going to give it to you in the air or on the ground. I think you can double stack them here in this spot. I'm definitely not opposed to it because it's simple. Zay Flowers and Mark Andrews. I won't stack anybody else with Lamar Jackson. I don't trust any of these other any of these other pass catches for the Ravens here. Sure, of course, Bateman can fall into a touchdown or Odell Beckham can fall into a touchdown. Sure, and that's going to hurt this stack here. But I don't think they get the volume. That's, I think that's the only way they hurt us. The volume is going to go to these two guys. This Baltimore offense has been clicking, having a little trouble in the red zone. So they're showing you they can move the ball. They just got to figure it out in the red zone. I think Lamar has a hand in that rushing this week and passing a little bit. I'm okay with the skinny stack. You can run him with Zay Flowers and uh, or just Mark Andrews and go skinny here with Lamar Jackson. I like getting to him. This could be a sneaky uh, game here that goes over. I know this total's a little low. I think it's at 41, 42. But I think, they get, I think these offenses are good enough. And these defenses are um, haven't been tested enough that I think that these offenses can uh, score a little more here in this spot. This game, I like this game for a sneaky over spot here just early on. I got to dive into it some more, but early on thinking, man, I think this game could go over the total here. And if that's the case, man, you definitely could come with a run back. And I don't know if you want to pay up for Amra St. Brown. That can get a little pricey. Maybe you want to go to Josh Reynolds, the number two option over here. Or maybe if you're skinny stacking it with Zay Flowers, you can run it back with Sam LaPorta. Or maybe some Jameer Gibbs if he's back. There's a couple of different ways you can go with this stack and run back here. But I'm definitely going to like getting to Lamar Jackson in this spot. Now, the next one is where it gets tough at, man. I'm having trouble trying to find a third QB. And just looking at the team totals, it's two guys I got my eye on. I'm going to give them to you both here in this spot. A little bonus situation for you. Uh, they both have solid team totals right at uh, 23 points here for um, – I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. 23, 23 points here for Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. And then a 26-point team total for Geno Smith. These are the two quarterbacks I'm trying to decide on between early this morning right now, early on in the week as well. Just trying to decide between these two quarterbacks. They both may make it into the player pool. But the reason I'm struggling with them is just these quarterbacks in general. They, haven't not, they have not looked very crisp or good this season. And I like... Both of their run games. I like Kenneth Walker here going against this struggling Cardinals run defense. I like uh, Aaron, Aaron, I, I like Aaron Jones if he plays in this spot. Definitely have to keep my eye on that. But if Aaron Jones plays in this spot, uh, I'm going to like Jordan Love a little less. Geno Smith would be my favorite target. If we get into Geno, man, you already know who to pair him with. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett just not even going to play with it. They don't even want to – I don't even want to mess with anybody else over here in this offense. So it will be just those two guys for me. But like I said, I don't know which way to go yet, man. I like Kenneth Walker as well. This Cardinals run defense is rough. Maybe you want to stick some Jackson Smith and Jigba in there if you need some price saving. But I think this is cheap enough right here, and I don't mind getting to that side. If you want to run it back, you definitely can go with Marquise Brown over there. And then just looking at the Green Bay side of this, man, like I said, maybe some Jordan Love. And I would pair him with probably Dobbs and uh, Watson here in this spot. If Aaron Jones don't, it does not play. If Aaron Jones here plays, I think it benefits this Green Bay run game and off offense overall. That's why the team total will be this high. 
But it just probably be Watson and Dobbs. I'm okay if you want to get to some Jaden Reed as well. Uh, Love can give you 22, 25 fantasy points here in this spot. And you, like I said, you just seen that score win this past week on a crazy main slate. Uh, I don't know if you want to run it back for Denver. You could go Cortland Sutton on the other side or, or maybe – McLaughlin, Williams, who knows who one of those running backs. It'll probably be Sutton or Judy for me on the other side. But those are your last two quarterbacks, Jordan Love and Geno Smith. Two, a bonus play for you here. Just trying to decide between those two guys there. Listen, if you want access to the complete player pool, the Patreon is down below, man. That's going to do it for us here today. Y'all know the motto, chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it. <laughs> Thank you.